Hi everyone. I wanted to put a question out there that I've been giving some thought to recently, and that question is, who will you inspire? Who will you inspire as a filmmaker? And I, what made me think about this question was uh, something else I was giving some thought to recently about when we put a film out into the world, when we, re when we release a film, that we really never know how people are going to respond to it. We all like the idea, I, I, at least I, I think we do, I think as filmmakers we like the idea that you know when we release something that there'll be kind of an instant reaction to it, uh, that people will watch it and hopefully enjoy it. Uh, I also think sometimes at least that even worse than having a hearing people with a negative reaction, uh, the worst thing of all is hearing no reaction at all from people because then you really don't know how they felt about the movie. But that's kind of my point, that the vast majority of people who see our movies will never let us know, let us, the filmmakers, know how they felt about them. You know, think about when you're going through, if you release your movies on YouTube, for example, and you're going through and you see how many people have watched your film. Think about how the vast majority of those um, views, you really have no idea where they came from, who's watching, or what they thought of the movie, how they found it. Uh, whether they'll watch it again, uh, you know, anything like that. The point is you really don't know. And one of the, so I think one of the key things here to keep in mind is that we have to have patience uh, when, when we release a film out there that uh, it may not get the kind of reaction that we're looking for right away. And it might feel like it never gets the kind of reaction that we're looking for. But, but I think that's okay. Because what's important is for the finished, you know, the, the, the completed work to be able to live, live out where people can see it, where people can find it. And you never know when somebody might see your film who will have that kind of an instant connection with it. To whom your film will mean a great deal. Maybe it will inspire them in terms of uh, making movies of their own. Maybe it will influence them or uh, give them some kind of fresh perspective on the world around them. Who knows? But think about the movies that have had that kind of impact for you. And you really never know when or where you might find a film like that, or when that kind of, when you'll have that kind of reaction as a viewer. And I think that's important to keep in mind as filmmakers, that we never really know when viewers will have that kind of reaction, or if they'll even have that kind of reaction to something that we've created. So I think Patience uh, is a key part of the creative process, whether that's waiting for ideas to strike, whether that's waiting for the inspiration of how to put those ideas into action uh, to, to come along. But I think it's also true even after the work is completed. And uh, you have to have patience and, um, and, and, and I think to, to uh, also to have the uh, confidence in what you've created um, that you know, even if it takes a long time, uh, you really never know what, what kind of reaction it might um, produce for a viewer. And when that does happen, you know, and hopefully, I think if you're, if you're fortunate, you'll be able to know, maybe the viewer will contact you, maybe leave a little comment or something like that. But uh, whether you ever know it or not, uh, the fact that it can happen, I think, makes it worth, to me, makes the whole creative process worth it. Because you put out something really personal and hope that it will connect with somebody. Um, and when that happens, that's, I think, a great thing. So to get back to this question that you really never know who you might inspire. Uh, somebody might watch a film that you've created and it might make him or her realize, oh, I can do this too. That's one of the things I think, especially with low budget, independent, do it yourself filmmaking, is so much of the inspiration comes from just knowing that there are other people out there doing it and that can show a way for it to be done. I think that can be one of the biggest hurdles, in fact, for people just starting out is simply 
finding the uh, you know in the the ability to believe that it can be done that there's a way to take these ideas and put them into action. So just at that level, I think making a film and putting it out there and especially you know sharing some information about how you did it, how how it was possible for you, that can inspire uh, people to. Uh, put their, their own stories and ideas into action to express themselves in their own, in their own way through their own films. And uh, it can really point the way for people to be able to do that. Uh, I think sometimes too, as filmmakers, once, we've, once you've made a certain number of films, it can be easy to kind of take it for granted that you, you know, that we know how to do it. We know how to put a production together. But for somebody um, possibly just starting out, or even somebody who uh, maybe has been making films for a very long time, but has internalized a lot of the limitations about, you know, quote unquote, real filmmaking, and uh, a lot of the imposed restrictions about, for example, trying to make a feature film. Uh, what you need to, you know, what you need in order to be able to make a feature film, if. You, you can kind of lead by example. Make your own movie. Show people that it can be done. And you never know who you'll inspire. Anyway, these are just a few thoughts inspired by this question myself. And uh, I think they're all worth keeping in mind as you go forward in your creative endeavors. You know, you don't have to set out to do any of these things. They are a sort of a, a collateral effect, I think, of the creative process, of sharing that process with other people, of putting work out into the world, especially, making it available, making it accessible, giving, ultimately, people, p potential audiences, viewers, a chance to find it. And when you do that, then it opens the door for the possibility of somebody connecting with that work and having that really kind of strong personal response to it. And you never know who you'll inspire or how you'll inspire them. Anyway, thank you for watching this video, and I will talk to you later.